First at four, Wisconsin's 41st governor, Tony Earle, has died after suffering a stroke. He left a legacy that featured fiscal responsibility and a special attention to the environment. Earle was elected governor in 1983, defeating Terry Kohler by more than 230,000 votes. Taking office, he faced a billion-dollar budget deficit and signed legislation making it a 5% sales tax permanent. He's credited for returning the state to financial stability. This is a budget which increases property tax relief by over $700 million, the most historic increase in property tax relief in the history of this state. As governor, he was an advocate of legislation promoting the environment and education and equal opportunity. In 1986, he lost his re-election bid to Republican Tommy Thompson. Tony Earle was 86 years old. And since the news broke, we've seen condolence, measure, condolence messages pour in from Wisconsin politicians. Including those who worked with and served with Earl. Political reporter Will Keneally spoke with one of his chief advisors and joins us now with more. Will? Yes, that's right. Hal Bergen and Tony Earl both worked together under a Democratic governor in the 70s. And when Earl decided that he wanted to run, Bergen was almost the person to manage that campaign for him. But he says that he was too much of a policy wonk to delve that hard into an election. But he later joined the Earl administration as the governor's policy director. So he described this time with Earl. Well, he was very uh, outgoing, friendly, he likes people, uh, very comfortable in his skin. Uh, he didn't feel threatened by anybody. He had a lot of friends, for example, uh, on the press, uh, among the press. He says Earl would often try to reach across the aisle when working on legislation. For the budget, for example, he says that Earl would try to get at least one Republican on board. We've heard similar anecdotes from some of the other politicians sharing their memories of the former governor. We'll have more reaction to his passing coming throughout our newscasts tonight. We will see you at 5 and 6. Will, thank you.